Hello everyone, my name is Ben Colley with Trimec. Uh, what I want to show you today is multiple mate mode in SolidWorks. Multiple mate mode is a command that allows you to mate multiple components to a single shared reference all in one go. So um, in this case, I'm going to be looking at a bunch of chess pieces that need to be mated flush with the chess board. If I were not using multiple mate mode, I would have to go in here and individually mate the bottoms of all these chess pieces uh, to that board. There'd be a whole lot of clicks and changing views so I could see um, the appropriate faces. But multiple mate mode is just going to clean up that process, uh, cut it maybe a fourth of the time that it would take to, to mate this otherwise. So multiple mate mode, I'll go ahead and pull it up. It's just in the uh, mate command. It's next to your selection box and it's the button here. It's a paper clip with a lightning bolt. So you just click on that to toggle multiple mate mode. And the mates that you can use with this mode are all of your standard mates. So coincident, parallel, perpendicular, tangent, concentric, um, even distance and angle mates. Um, what I'm going to show here is just a coincident mate that's going to go between this chess board and all these chess pieces. So the first thing that the command is going to prompt you for is your shared reference, which will be the board. And then I'm going to pick all the faces that are going to get mated to it. So just get down here to an angle where I can see all the bottoms of these chess pieces and I'll just start clicking. So there's that one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, and this one, and boom, that's it. So just think about all the time that we've saved and all the clicks and the effort of having to switch around views just to get all this in one go. Now you can also get to multiple mate mode just through quick mates if you're uh, used to using quick mates. So I don't actually have to even go into the mate command. Um, if I do the right clicks here, it's going to know what I'm trying to do. So I'll go ahead and start quick mates by first selecting this board as the shared reference. And then I'm going to pick all these faces like I did before. And from the in context toolbar that pops up here, I'll just hit mate. And again, it's going to go into multiple mate mode on its own. And I can go ahead and add in this one. And one thing to notice here is that uh, one of these pawns came in upside down. So I can just pick that from my selection and individually uh, flip the alignment on it. So we'll flip the alignment and it's fixed. An issue that you might run into with multiple mate mode is where these are going to all clump together when you hit mate. So here's an instance of that where instead of these pieces dropping straight down to where you think they're going to go, um, they're all going to clump together. And this is because of a setting in your system options um, that's on by default. So I'll show you how to fix that real quick. If you go to your settings and your system options, if you look under assemblies, the second option, optimize component placement when adding mates, this is on by default. And in cases where you're mating just single components to each other, this is a good option to have. But in the case of multiple mate mode, um, that means it's going to push all of those components kind of toward your cursor. So to fix that, you just uncheck um, this option, optimize component placement, and now it's going to behave more as expected. Just to dig into this a little bit more, let's look at a case where we're using concentric mates instead of coincident. So we have this multi-tool uh, with all these little Allen wrenches and all these wrenches need to lie on these common axes, these two pins. So the workflow is the same for concentric as it would be for coincident. So we'll start by picking this pin as the common reference, and then I'll pick the circular edges as the pieces that need to get mated to it. So from that uh, pop-up toolbar that comes up, we'll hit mate. 
And SolidWorks knows what we're trying to do here, so it starts multimate mode up for us. And we'll hit OK. Then for the rest of these, I'm going to use kind of your more traditional way of finding multimate mode by starting the make command. And I'll click this multimate mode toggle, get our common reference as this pin, and then pick all these circular edges. And there is this checkbox here for create multi-mate folder. And so what this is going to do is group these mates together down in your mates folder in the assembly tree. And so that'll allow you to make decisions for this group of mates um, in particular. So we'll go ahead and do that just so we can see what it looks like and hit OK. And then if we look in our uh, mates folder, you see this new icon down here for multi-mates. And this is going to show that uh, multi-mate command that we did. So we could edit this feature and it's going to pull up that selection again. So instead of having to only work individually on mates from that point, you can pull up that multi-mate command that you did earlier. So hit OK. Very powerful, very easy to use, and can be a serious time saver if you're uh, doing a lot of these types of assemblies where you have a common reference mate. Uh, thank you for watching.